Okay, so it is Wednesday night and I got a last minute tick uh, ticket to Electric Picnic, which is amazing, but I have no idea what I'm gonna wear. So I'm just going through all my clothes. I'm shopping my wardrobe. I really don't want to just buy something for the sake of buying it. And I also don't have time. So I think this is a really good kind of exercise in trying to see what I actually have and don't wear that much. And I actually found these shorts and remembered why I haven't worn them and it's just because they're at an awkward length. They're a little too long for my frame and I already have kind of longer denim shorts that I much prefer. So I'm just gonna cut nine centimeters off from the inseam and 10 centimeters off from the outer leg. And it, that will actually just make them even. So it will stop them rolling up or from the kind of inseam area being um, uneven when you look at it on a person. So I did that and then I'm pairing it with this vintage denim jacket that I got in uh, Brooklyn. I really like it. So it's the day of EP. I'm so excited. I'm just waiting for the girls to come. They're gonna be here in about five minutes. This is my look. Um, oh, that's them now. Okay, I'll bring you guys along with me. Hello? Hello? Hi! Okay, I'm coming out now! Ah. Okay, I'm gonna go out now. Um, I'll bring you guys along. I'm gonna use my phone camera because I don't wanna bring you, I don't wanna get my camera damaged. And so there will be a change in quality, but bye. Also, I don't know if you can see, I got these little hair sparkles. So definite change in quality, that's my eye makeup of clothes, then we got McDonald's before we arrived and we got there just in time for Dermot Kennedy which was an amazing start to Electric Picnic. <laughs> I'm trying not to get anyone's face in here, but this was the silent disco, which was so fun. We went two nights in a row. That's me and Neve singing. I cannot include the audio because it will deafen you all. It's day two. This is my makeup, um, just super simple. And then this is my hair. It's like disco hair, just because I wanted to keep it up, but still look cute. This is our tent that got wrecked, um, but it's not that bad, it's kind of dry now. We got in a really good camping spot, the eco camping spot, which you're meant to pay for, but then they saw the three of us and I think it was about to start raining. So they, um, they're like, well, do you see an empty spot? And we're like, yeah, we see an empty spot right by the fence and they let us in. And it's so nice, they have like guards outside 24 seven, we have our own bathroom bathrooms like we definitely got really lucky because we kind of arrived too late to get a good camping spot anywhere else um and now we're just gonna go see whoever here's my outfit for day two i have corset and short and this backpack and thank you me for holding the camera oh and here's my disco ball hair It started lashing, so we took a break, got lunch, we had it under this communal tent area in our campsite, and then luckily it cleared up. Um, so we went back out, caught some more acts, and that night, picture this, we're playing. And I wasn't a huge fan of them beforehand, but they were so amazing on stage. Um, they were one of my favorite acts. So now we're on to the third day. This is the day where we definitely did the most exploring. We took it a little bit easier because we we're starting to get wrecked. And there's Daniel O'Donnell there, LGBTQ plus uh, icon, as you can see. 
and then I had some Mexican, some little rice and beans, that was great. And the day, Sunday, was the sunniest, so it was such a good day. Okay, so it's our last day. Um, this is my makeup and hair. I went with the glitter hair again. And we just got our breakfast, and now we're gonna go to Joanne McNally. They actually changed the stadium, or wherever it is, because I think so many people saved it on the app. So they're in a bigger arena now. So excited to do that and this is where we are. It's so nice. It's the last day, but it's the best weather, which is great. So bye. And here's me and Neve. We actually decided to sit like in front of a barrier and we also sat in like this little step so we could see over everyone. Even though we got in early, it filled up so quickly. I think we definitely got one of the best seats. Step one, I was freaking out. Step two, feeling better now. Step three, if you stick around, I promise I'll never let you down. Step one, I was freaking out. Step two, feeling better now. Step three, if you stick around, I promise I'll never let you down. I've lost so many people in my life. It's stuck in my head. I'm going to start a fight so I can lose it again. Okay, so I'm back at the tent um, because even though it's the hottest day, I think because I'm not drinking or we're sitting down a little bit more, I'm just feeling the cold a lot more. So I just changed into trousers. Okay, so here's my new outfit. The rest of Sunday was just very relaxed. Here's more of the um, festival. That's some of the fairground rides. Yeah, we really just um, had a very relaxing day. And then we just got some more food, sat down, listened to some of the acts and then we saw the coronas and we left afterwards. So we left a little bit earlier than everyone. You can see how packed all the other campsites were. And then this was the state we found the car in. We obviously could not leave it that way. So we ended our night in the car wash, which was actually pretty relaxing. Then we went home. Neve and Emma have work the next morning, so that's why we left early. But honestly, I was I was glad to have an early night after two nights of um, four or five a.m. until I went to bed. So it's a week after EP. And I don't think I mentioned it in the first part of the video, but it was actually my first time being at Electric Picnic. I've been to festivals before, but I've never been to like a festival in Ireland before or a camping festival before, so I really didn't know what to expect besides a lot of rain and there was definitely that. But I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I was. And I think my friends were surprised at how much I enjoyed it just for the fact that like, I was a little concerned about the camping, like I've never camped before at all. Um, so I just didn't know would I enjoy it, would I get any sleep. But I think the campsite we were at really just made it so much more, I don't wanna say bearable, but so much more enjoyable. Like I said before, we were at the eco campsite and I thought you had to pay to get in there because there's a few other campsites that are more like glamping, things like that, that you have to pay to get into. But this was actually, you just have to register to get in. So you register, I don't know how many months before Electric Picnic, they have only a certain amount of spots. So the only condition is that when you leave, you bring, you take back everything that you brought or if you've any 
rubbish or anything they have a load of different bins so you put them in whatever bin it is or if you don't want to sort through your recycling or anything like that you just put it all in one big plastic bin and they'll actually do it for you so like as the days were going like if we have cans or anything we just put it in as we're leaving i think that's what you know anyone would do anyway but we left a few hours earlier than everyone else and then i saw a load of tiktoks of what like the other campsites look like um and i'll put them here somewhere with the the tiktok i saw like the two different campsites um but i also think it's that i heard that the other campsites also did not have a lot of um bins around they didn't have the like recycling facilities we did they would just have a bin that you put everything into so i definitely think like maybe ep should look at what that campsite is doing and implement it in other campsites but also there were so many tents left over like it was a bit um i don't know i surprised at the amount of tents that seemed to be left over and the amount of rubbish um i know they reuse the tents for homeless people but there's going to be so many that are broken and stuff like i think if it's broken you should just put it away or attempt to at least bring it back to your car until you can find somewhere to dispose of it but as i said loved our campsite we had our own separate bathrooms there was security um, that would check your wristbands every time you went in and we seemed to have a lot more space than all the other campsites like if you wanted to put up chairs and stuff you would definitely not find it hard to like i saw the main uh, the main campsites sorry i don't know if you got that on camera but someone's letting off fireworks right next to my house can you hear that but anyway I forgot where I was there so yeah they checked everyone's wristbands going in all the time um it had its own breakfast area we had our dinner under this kind of communal teepee thing I know they had a lot of activities in that camp like I think they had yoga and stuff like that and they also had yoga and activities in the main festival as well we weren't uh, that interested in it because we were just there primarily for the music but if you are interested in it that's that's a plus there's a lot of different activities at the festival actually it was really interesting to see like a lot of arts um and you know different experiences to have so that's nice that if you didn't for whatever reason want to listen to any of the artists at that point you'd so much more to do they also had this crazy like fairground with all these rides and stuff we didn't go on any there was a few that we wanted to go on but it, we just there's no time there's so many people to listen to there's so many different things to do that we just kept saying oh we'll do that tomorrow or we'll go to that stage tomorrow and you actually really do need like the full three days or four if you get early access to see everything and probably not even then so that was my experience and there's also some other things that I learned from like other youtubers and bloggers of what to bring to EP and what I found was useful and maybe not as useful so I'll just go through them in case you're watching and you have never been before but want to go so one thing um, loads of people said to do was put all your clothes in plastic bags like put each outfit in a plastic bag i cannot stress that enough that is so important especially if your camp gets flooded we were lucky that our tent didn't get flooded only the very entrance where like you zip it up and down but i saw so many videos of people's tent sites flooded of their um sleeping bags completely flooded things like that so what i did like i said i had all my clothes in a plastic bag and I think I had two other spare plastic bags one that I put my tent or pillow or I mean I didn't have a pillow I just used my um my coat as a pillow and then just put that in the plastic bag as we we're leaving for the day so if it did get flooded you know you're not going to be sleeping in a wet um sleeping bag 
and then just a spare bag to put all your, your rubbish in. One thing everyone said to do, but I didn't really find useful, neither of my friends was like bringing food. Maybe like little breakfast bars and stuff, but we were just out all the time. So there was no point for us to have the amount of snacks that we did. We brought a few packs of pot noodles because everyone says like, oh, in the night you can go to the coffee stations and they'll fill it up for you. But we were out until like four or five and when we came back we were just not gonna go into our tents and then leave again to get hot water. Like once we were in our tents for the night we were in. So I definitely wouldn't be bringing any food next year beyond like something for breakfast maybe or a tiny little snack. So yeah, we definitely overpacked there. And then definitely have <laughs> a proper rain jacket and have boots that you don't care about they were the only things i bought um for electric picnic i bought a rain jacket off i can't remember where it's from i brought i got it off asos but i can't remember the brand i'll put it here and then i got boots that weren't leather so they wouldn't shrink because i think i i don't know if they get so wet or so mucky they might shrink and that i wouldn't care about that is where I went wrong because I got really cheap boots and I didn't break them in enough. They're just kind of uncomfortable. So my feet at the end were in bits, but also I got a very last minute ticket and I didn't want to ruin any of my own shoes because I like them too much. So if I go next year, which me and my friends that I went with were planning to do, Definitely gonna get boots that I don't care about in advance and properly break them in, make sure they're comfortable and that I don't care about if they get absolutely ruined because the shoes I was wearing did. They got absolutely disgusting. Also, you would have seen this at the end, do not put your car, well, if you have a choice, um, they kind of tell you where to park. But if you can, or don't park it directly where the road is where people will be driving up next to it. Try and get it kind of in the middle between two cars if you can, because our car was ruined. Um, so we did have to go to the car wash afterwards. It wasn't the end of the world, but it's just another expense added to the weekend. But like I said, it's fine. Just if you can, it's better to not get it completely destroyed by muck. And I can't think of anything else just that I had a really good time, way better than I thought, loved all the acts, love um, seeing music live and just the crowd in general was amazing. So yeah, that was it. I don't think I got that many videos of people actually singing just because it was so fun to just be there and sing along with the crowd. I think the only videos I got were people singing Ole because I thought it was funny. So I don't know how many I'll have in this video of people actually performing. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I always forget to say this, but if you like my content or my videos, um, I'd love if you could like or subscribe. That sounds really cheesy <laughs> saying that, but it's true. That's all I had to say on Electric Picnic, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!